Before we get started, thank you so much to my newest full self-driving patron, Alec D. He gave a really nice message to his daughters there to work at Tesla when they get older. If you want to buy a Tesla, you can use Alec's referral code that will be in the description below the video. But anyway, thank you so much, Alec. Really appreciate the support. Welcome to the Model Y Frunk. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. So today we are looking at Tesla software update 2021.4.18.10. Lots of numbers there for you. You can tell that they are iterating a lot on this. And this is a vision update. It's for the vision vehicles. I've already noticed a couple weird things. When I first got in the car, my release notes just said minor fixes and emergency lane departure avoidance, nothing else. I couldn't enable the sat last, which is stopping at traffic lights and stop signs. Uh, it didn't say smart summon. I couldn't enable navigate an autopilot. I had to do a double uh, scroll wheel reset here and now everything is back to normal. And then as I turned onto this road, I don't know if I caught it on camera or not, there was a double uh, speed limit sign there which is very strange so other than that <laughs> uh, we're gonna check out this update today so Tesla is improving on Tesla vision which is their autopilot version that does not use radar and they've been doing this over the past few weeks and in my experience it's been very good I have heard a lot of complaints so I don't want to ignore those I know other people aren't having as good of an experience as me but so far I mean in my videos you can see my experience I'm sharing a lot uh, it, it's been good so Today we have a huge uh, fix for me and it just says minor fixes and they don't mention the thing I'm kind of most excited for which is before this update the max speed on Tesla Vision was 75 miles per hour now the max speed is 80 miles per hour and that's great that's what i use i don't really go any faster than that so for me personally it's awesome uh, people are asking is it going to eventually get to 90 just like the radar version and i would say that yes it is when tesla makes changes to autopilot either hardware or software it's very normal for them they've done it several times before to lower the top speed while they test it for safety and then kind of restore features maybe they take other features away as time goes on so another one of those features is smart summon we got that back now with Tesla Vision, so we'll be testing that as well in this video. But I wanted to address, you know, people's concerns because they're thinking they're they better not bring this to my car and lower my top speed. They, in, in my opinion, they're not going to update the radar cars to Tesla Vision until it's as good as or better than the version with radar. So you don't have anything to worry about there. It may be a little bit of time before we're back on all getting the same updates, uh, but it, it will happen. And like I said, my experience has been good so far, so I don't think it's gonna take too long. Tesla also recently passed their safety tests with the IIHS, which shows that they still have their emergency braking and things. So they got a top safety pick there. So that is great news. Also another improvement that was not mentioned in the release notes, I wish, uh, come on Tesla, tell us tell us what you're doing here. <laughs> we're curious, um, is sentry mode for, I don't know, oh, I just recorded that for no reason um sentry mode oh we got some braking here oh it displayed a person that was pretty interesting uh and now we're continuing so no need for that braking the good news was i, I let it happen because no one's behind me but it was very gradual i could have very easily just tapped the accelerator so still no good we don't want that but i no no slam i haven't had a single time um of phantom braking people call it where it slams on the brakes it, it hasn't happened at all so uh that's really good news obviously um another improvement or fix is sentry mode was broken i'm not sure if it was all the vision um only teslas or just model y's I, I saw a lot of model y people complaining about it um but sentry mode wasn't working it was enabled and it would like show on the screen but it wouldn't record anything and you got some error message that said like your your drive wasn't connected oh i guess i'll let i'll let it stop at the stop sign um but i have to make the turn so uh, yeah, it said the drive wasn't connected. So there we go. Stop to the stop sign. Now I got to continue. And uh, that's been fixed now. So now sentry mode should be working for us, which is good news as well. Here's an example of that double speed limit sign I was talking about. That's really weird. Now I got smaller. Now there it is. It's probably, it's, it's some graphical glitch. When you go above the speed limit, let's see if I can actually recreate it. I probably can. Um, when you go above the speed limit, Tesla will make the speed limit sign bigger to kind of show you like, hey, you're speeding. All right, let's go below the speed limit here. And then if I go above, yep. So it went to make it bigger and it just, so that's a, a graphical glitch in this update. I don't know, I don't think it was, I'm 99% sure it was not there before. Um, but when you go over the speed limit, it's gonna glitch out like that. So as far as braking here, we're testing that out. Uh, we got a ding for continue through the green light. Uh, pretty good braking, tiny bit hard there at the end, but nothing I'm gonna complain about and then continuing as the cars go so really good again my experiences with this have been very good uh, i've heard others have not had that but this is what i'm seeing uh, so let's get on the highway now 
and try out 80 miles per hour. <laughs> I'm sure that it just works just fine. All right, so hopping onto the highway here, you can see it's gonna set to 77. That is my offset. And there we go, that is great news. Before, it would say 77, but when I would engage autopilot, it would just go to 75. Um, so let's let it do this lane change here all on its own. Changing lanes to follow route, very good. A little wiggliness in the lines, and then we'll go up to 80. Boom, auto steer, speed restricted to 80 miles per hour. So again, unlike the radar version, uh, this is restricted to 80. This little speed limit sign bug there. And uh, that's fine. This is pretty much every day what I would do taking this same route is set it to 80 and then I'm, I'm happy. Um, and we're gonna change into the faster lane because it can see, you know, I've noticed it's very good with detecting slow traffic from a, a greater distance than the radar version. And that's something I was really sensitive to because I would get really annoyed that it would wait too long and get too close to cars. And then it'd have to slow down, change lanes, you know, then someone's in your way because you've slowed down. Uh, the, the Tesla Vision version has seemed to detect those slower cars sooner than the radar version did. So that's really good news. Uh, but yeah, here we are, 80 miles per hour. Let's let it roll for you know a minute or two, make sure everything looks good. And uh, we will move on to some smart summon testing. Okay, so we're about to test Smart Summon. Of course, I got people pulling up all around me. Um, we'll just do a quick test here. Okay, that took forever. Uh, it was saying it was my phone, but here we go. So go to Target. Car is starting to come out now. It's not doing anything. I'm still holding the button. Come on, let's go. Well, this is a terrible start to this. Okay, that took it a really long time to decide what to do, but now it's coming. And still a little slow, so so far it seems really similar to Radar Summon. You know, I was pretty surprised that they didn't have Smart Summon with the Radar. I, you know, I don't know that much about coding things, so maybe it was just tied in somehow, but um, oh, we had the galloping noise. So it's coming straight to me. And I mean, pretty good. There it is. So it came straight to me. Let me um, park it and do something a little more complicated than that. Okay, so I have it set in the back of the parking lot. I've just walked away. Actually, you know what? I was going to do come to me, but I much prefer just telling it where to go around. So now this one's a lot better, maybe because I backed in and it can just pull straight out. It should go around all the parking spots, which it's doing a very good job. I can see it, there's nobody over there. Looks really good. Going one mile an hour, which is slow. Here we go, four miles an hour. Five, six. So it looks like the max speed is the same and it should turn here and it's not. Oh, it's going out onto the street. <laughs> so that's, uh, that's not correct. Let me just get in and reposition it because that was gonna mess up. Never. Okay, so now I've moved to this parking lot and you can see there's a barrier in between me and the car So it will have to go around that. So let's try come to me And see how it does. Again, no pets. It's showing me a line of where it's going to go. It is turning. It's not coming straight for me, which is great news It's got a couple cars there to go between Very nice and confident on this one. I cannot see how close it is to the curb But wow, yeah, that was really nice Really good movement, pretty natural. And yeah, going around the curb nicely, plenty of room. A little awkward right there. But man, that was really good. So it came right to me. A little close to that pickup. Um, not like it's gonna hit it, but just goofy. All right, I'm over here, come on. If I move this way a little bit, there we go. Bring it in, bring it in. Hey, it's pretty nice. It's gonna park itself fully. Keep going, keep going. So we'll leave it there. I don't really see anybody around. Let me go back to the other side and back it up and go back the way it came, which is, is awesome. That's probably what I would do. Overall, the update uh, seems pretty nice. Smart Summon doesn't really seem that much better. 
I, I don't know, it's hard because it, like right now it's really nice and confident, but we just made a mistake in that last parking lot. And part of the part of the problem with Smart Summon is, okay, so stopping awkwardly there, there's no cars around. Part of the problem with Smart Summon is it needs, it seems that it needs the parking lot to be mapped for it to be really good. Now it will attempt an unmapped parking lot, uh, but it's just not as good in an unmapped parking lot. So yeah, that's a, like, why are you stopping there? Plenty of room to just continue. There we go. Little close, I mean, you know, not gonna hit anything, but just kind of a little awkwardly close to that minivan. And boom, here we are. I mean, it's sweet, like the car. <laughs> I love Smart Summon because you can say the car is driving itself, because it is, even though I'm so responsible and I'm holding the little button down. Um, I'm in no way in control of this car. It's just doing its own thing. <coughs> Alrighty, so now we're doing Smart Summon in a Meyer parking lot. And this is really impressive so far. Just kidding, it's me driving. So I'm actually gonna be sitting in the car for this one. I'm cheating a little bit. I mean, Smart Summon will still be, you know, um, doing everything, but this way I can really push it. And if it does something dumb, I can just take over, no big deal. So let's park right here and let's pretend like I need to be picked up, right? So put the car in park and let's get started. Okay, it does keep saying, all right, here we go, we're gonna start. It does keep saying phone, location, whatever. Um, and, oh my gosh, I have this sound on. And, uh, no, don't, come on, you need to back up more than that. Like, seriously, oh, it's so, uh, uh, no, 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 too close, too close, all right. All right, so I turned around and backed into the spot because I had screwed up before. Um, just got too close to that truck and I took over. Anyway, uh, I keep having the phone location thingy. Um, wow, this I have to turn this noise off. This is so annoying. <laughs> um, and I leave the app and come back and it instantly has my phone location. So I think it is something wrong with the Tesla app. Um, we're going here, we're stopping at this intersection, we're looking and boom, that's uh, about where I told it to go. So that was actually not terrible. Um, so let me reset and do a more complicated one. Okay, now my Tesla app is stuck thinking that it's driving. So that's really annoying because you obviously can't use sentry mode or sorry, uh, summon when it's okay there. Now it's parked that, <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm just, I don't know. I mean, I'm having these problems. I don't know why it's annoying. All right. Having lots of, I mean, it took me forever to get these menus to pop up. It's, it's really annoying. So, uh, I wanted that over there to be in the circle. Um, please move closer to your vehicle. I'm literally sitting in the vehicle. So it's like the app experience is, is my problem here more than anything right now. Okay, I have to keep exiting the app and re-entering it um, to make it work. So here we go. We're going to go to Target. Uh, I really wanted to go to that door, but oh well. Um, so we have a car in front of us. Let's see. Oh, we got people uh, behind us. I let go of the button. And I'm hitting the button again. So here we go. Now I'm holding it. And we're backing out. So this is decent so far. It needs to back out much more. And now it aborted. Vision system temporarily degraded. I guess that's because the sun is in the cameras. All right. All right. I'm, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. This is, this is too much. It's taking too long. All right. Now, one last thing to finish this up that I discovered on accident on my way out to film the smart summon stuff. We will confirm this green light. You can see saw from far away and then it sees the yellow change and it hits the brakes very good even though i told it go ahead for that green light it saw the yellow and braked for it so we turn green i have to confirm it's going to go we have a 45 speed limit sign but you can see a 25 school speed limit sign which is not in effect right now and check this out boom 25 conditional it is not the speed limit right now which is why it says 45 and I have never seen that before for the U.S. I know Europe, uh, parts of Europe have this. I think Canada even has this for certain zones or something. Um, but yeah, this is extremely exciting for the U.S. because we have not had that yet. This was not in the release notes, but Elon said something on Twitter. I can't find it. He said something about we should notice other improvements. I don't know if that's what he meant, but that is just super exciting to have that because that's something that has not been working lately. Um, and now is working. So I don't actually need to go there. I just had that route. So anyway, uh, overall pretty good. Uh, I, I love the, the 80 miles per hour. Of course, I do not love the, the smart summon. It, it seems like they didn't really change anything or make it better. They just made it so it works with vision and works, I should say, I guess, without radar. Um, and it seems pretty similar to how it's always been. 
So I hope you enjoyed all of this. Do you have any questions about the software update, Tesla Vision? Um, and I will mention full self-driving beta uh, will be coming to this car, I think, eventually, but it's not here yet. So when the next beta update rolls out, look for that. So anyway, if you have any questions, leave them down below. I will answer those for you. Hope you enjoyed this one, and you will see me in the next video.